Here's your storage heater. So this one here has got three elements. One, two, three. So this is like a 3.6 kilowatt usually. 1.2 kilowatts per element. And at off-peak times, these elements heat up and inside this heater is heating bricks, or storage heater bricks. And what happens is the elements heat up the bricks and then they become hot. And during the day, that allows the heat to come back out. So the two controls here, you have your input and your output. Your input is how hot these elements get to heat up the bricks. And the output, which this one, oh, can you hear that? I don't know if we can see it. Aye, can you see it? I see this metal thing. Aye, so that, that is basically your output. That's how fucking sophisticated it is. Is all that does is open a flap to let the hot air out. Right, so when you're storing the heat in your heater, you want the flap to be fucking closed, man. And then when you want the heat to come out, you want the flap to be open. Alright, that sounds quite funny and dirty when I say that, but that's what it is. So you want to keep your flaps closed to get the heat in. And then when you want a bit of heat, you want to open the flaps up. <laughs> and then what's good about this heater is, so this is, this one here is your switch for your off peak. And this one here is a bit like your hot water system, you can boost it. And what that does, there will be a, a wee filament element in here that will heat up and give you a wee bit of instant heat. And that's controlled with that there, so you can hear it clicking on. That's it. And that just gives you a wee bit of instant heat if the storage heaters ran out of heat, all right? So, as always, we're switching all back off. So we don't want to damage it when we're putting test voltages down it. And then, uh, just have a look at it, see? What are you doing, man? 